This happens in the SDA all the time. I don't ever want to see it working here. You can talk people to death. Wasn't that good? What do you think? Fuck off. <laughs> no, not fuck off, because now I've impugned you in front of everybody else here. Everybody else here wonders whether or not you cheated. See what I mean? And suddenly you will feel the energy shift. Everybody goes, ooh, did Tang cheat? Fuck. <laughs> when you openly question somebody like that, you do right. good damage. Big time. I've actually had Big it. time damage. It's, it's happened to me where I've had somebody come and say, you should have took that last shot. And then they just walked away. Yep. And I, 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 I was in semifinals and they yeah. just blew out. And it totally rocks their world. And he world. wasn't even and fighting. Right. He pissed what, me right off. Right, right. And what happens there is, you lose confidence in your own ability to call blows. Do not let that happen. If you never cheat, you don't have to worry about it. If you call everything you feel, you can be totally justified in your own heart to look at the guy and go, no, I, I didn't feel it. I'm serious. I don't know why. I'm not even going to say the guy didn't hit me. It wasn't good. And be confident in that and allow that to happen. But I can tell you right now, one of the most critical things that you can do to somebody is go up and go, are you sure? Because, really. And uh, you see what I mean? And it totally will just like, oh, crap. And I've watched that happen over and over and over again, where people will talk their opponent to death. It makes me sick, right? <laughs> I really don't like it. It's dis, what is it? What's the term I'm looking for? Dishonorable, unhonorable? It goes against our codes of honor and what we are supposed to do. Well, yeah, the question in your honor. That is correct. <laughs> we are supposed to be. The only answer to that should be, you should hit me harder. Hit them in places where they're going to call it. Do that kind of stuff. Do not let it freak you out. Or you. Or you. Both of you have had that problem. You've let it freak you out before. <laughs> All right? I've watched. No freak outs. You must instead cut harder. That's right. Hit harder. Very good. Oi. Uh, so, and don't let it bother you, like I said. If you're sure about yourself, it doesn't even matter if I do it. You got some big, tough fighter up there going, are you sure, honestly? Say, yeah, because you call everything that hits you. And you call it fair and you call it clean. That's it. The most that I will ever do is somebody and go, actually, that did look like it was in your face, was it? Right, when I'm usually on the outside or whatever, because you get those guys who'll get hit right here and they go, oh, it hit the uh, nasal. Dude, that, uh, that, that was a broadsword. I you know her bastard sword. I, I hate to put forward, but yeah, that looked really bad from here. Jesus Christ. We had, a, we had a really bad fight where a guy and I had a bitch out talk with him at the Seven Swords where a little tiny skinny guy got hit in the neck by a giant guy with a great sword hard enough to knock him to the ground and he spins up like this and he goes, one! And I was like... <laughs> I was like, dude... I wouldn't want to be hit harder than that, <laughs> right? Literally, in the neck, right? I was like, okay, right? oh, and it went bad from there because then they both got into this little pissy because the little skinny guy and the big guy were there and they were kind of like, and oh, little hit, ah, oh, fuck you, that's not hard enough. And you know what, because if you're not going to call my neck shot, I'm not going to call that pansy ass. <laughs> See what I mean? Don't go there. It's one fight, okay? You need to keep your honor clean, and as long as it's clean, none of this psychology crap that I'm talking about doing to you will work. It is your best shield. It is the null factor. It is, you know what? I'm as good as I can be, and I'm giving you my best fight. That's the honorable thing to do, period. As long as you've got that, they can't take anything from you, and honestly, they won't. They really won't. The guys who are really honorable, who have a reputation for always calling, for being stuff like that, they aren't questioned. Nobody even tries that shit on them. When you've got the reputation out there that you are willing, you know, that you call all your shots clean and everything goes good like that, they'll say that and people, instead of going, ooh, did the Lord Captain call? They'll go, are you serious talking about the captain? Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you do something, I have my defense, you have your offense, and vice versa. If you do something that defeats my defense, right. and you hit me with what you intended to do, Correct. it doesn't really matter how hard you have hit me, you have defeated <coughs> my defenses with your offense, and you have beaten me. And that is... Something to learn from. That is how I go in, I, that is what I try and maintain in all of the fights, is that 
your offense is better than my defense. Therefore, you have beaten me. You have a point, scored a point. If it hurts, then it's a substantial. But it I'm, doesn't... A, I'm a little bit different. I like it to, I like to be hit. Mm -hmm. I like to lose by enough that it isn't just because yeah. I tend to call touches. Yep. Well, I, I don't I want do somebody that. to you know flail around and you know have the tip of the sword nick me in the well, ear. There or you something. go. That's not what I, I'm talking about. You know, you've made this very deliberate fake, and I fell for it, and you wound up hitting me in the head. Right. It doesn't really matter at that point how right. hard you have hit me in the head. You have. What he is a very good point that we also should put here on the ability of psychology within the EMP and even SDA type of things. We're not fighting to the death. This is basically fighting to the wound even. And when you wound me three times, do the three wound or even the substantial, and I go, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. And I go, okay, I'm done. I am yielding the field to you. I'm not dead. It's not like I'm not gonna fight you again. It's not like I'm not gonna use all the stuff that you just beat me with to get better and then find you and beat you. You see what I mean? Allow it to be an ongoing process that this is only one moment in time for, and it will be much easier for you to not fall for all of the psychology crap. Because honestly, he's right. It's coming down to a, an attack and a defense of physicality. The psychology just makes very, it's basically like waves in a pool that you're fighting in. You don't, can let them affect you or not. Uh, any questions so far on what I've got? questions whatsoever you all know everything about psychology now fantastic I'm amazed <laughs> sometimes I worry about these things because if I keep going on this you lose the stuff that's at the start one of the things I've learned about teaching is I try and keep things modular what quarter I don't know time. about time quarter after one quarter, quarter, quarter after, after one. one I don't know if I'm overtime anyway uh, uh, we got you started I'm, late yeah, yeah we started late like, but we're, honestly we're, I can talk too much <laughs> and if there, I've got more stuff there's more stuff on this that I can go on on but better to keep certain parts than get overwhelmed by lots of different information and lots of different things. Uh, it's really, like I said, these are all very basic principles. Be confident in yourself. Learn that you can fight and that you can. It's, it's not that hard to do. We're all here to make each other better. I don't think anybody here is anyone else's enemy. Someday we may come to that. There may, we may be big enough that this grows to places where there'll be a guy, because I know it got that way in the SCA. There's a guy that I told, if I ever see you on the field, and he was a knight, very tough knight, count as a matter of fact. <clears throat> if I ever see you again on the field, I'm gonna put you away. I'm gonna fucking hurt you. Don't ever fight me again, right? And that's an enemy. That's somebody who, and I'm dead serious, I don't make claims unintentionally, but he's one guy out of 30 years fighting. You see what I mean? Enemies are not common. If you find that in the EMP, <laughs> there are means to redress it. However, be very cautious with that. That's very negative stuff. And it shouldn't be taken lightly. The rest of us are all friends. He's my friend, and when I fight him, and he clubs me, just because I've had many years of experience and I'm supposedly a better fighter and all of this kind of stuff, I don't say, fuck you. How dare you club me, you little pissant? <laughs> I go, dude, what'd you do? Because, wow, that was awesome. Right? <laughs> and I'll ask him, and I'll want to get better. And I know he'll secretly in his heart go, no, I want to keep it. I need to use it again. Right? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't share. Because once I know that, you're going to have to come up with something else. You're going to have to get better. Every single thing that we do is designed to get us better at what we're doing and nothing else. That whole fighting to the death thing doesn't happen. We're not actually gonna die, right? Even if we really believe in what we're fighting, even, we're not gonna die. We've never had a death. We don't want a death. Jesus, I've asked for a death and not gotten it. <laughs> Think of how great that would be, actually dying in combat. If I could pay to do that, I would. <laughs>